What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Grand Theft Auto, a game I haven't played in quite a long time and you probably know they've just released the Smugglers update for this game. Let me just sort my audio audio out set, I fact I need to turn it up. That's the problem. Uh, let's put it on 20. That's much better. Now I can actually hear the game. And yeah, Smugglers Run DLC has just been released. It mainly focuses on planes, but it also focus it's got two new vehicles in it and most of the other stuff is online stuff. So let's spawn a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing around in my trainer, I completely forgot about that. Screw it, let's go playing in as a monkey. Right, so let's go, let's check out the new road vehicles first. So there's a supercar. Uh, what's it called? It is called the Visionaire, I think, is the new one. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. That is nice. Ooh, I do like that. What's the inside like? Oh wow, that is a really nice interior. Not very quick though. Uh, I know. Normally I have a, a realistic top speed mod, but it's broken at the moment, so normal GTA physics, but it's still pretty quick. It's a pretty nice car. And the other thing is, let's park this by here and hope the plane don't hit it when we take off. <laughs> that monkey cracks me up. Uh, it is a Sport Classic. I know what it's called. There, the Vapid Retinue. That's pretty nice. That reminds me of the Warrener. Oh, yeah, that's totally a Warrener from the front. They've just modified the Warrener a bit to make it into a Ford. That's all they've done there. Not bad. What's the interior like? Very early 90s. Late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> the monkey hand. I think that's going to make me giggle all day. Quite good handling like that. Right, the big thing, the main thing, the planes. I might change to a cow later. I always wanted to go skydiving as a cow. Oh my god, we're floating. That's not legit. Right, planes. So let's start off with the Buckingham Alpha Z1. What the hell? It's got no landing gear. And it's white. Uh, okay. Does it mean Alpha as in it's literally an Alpha? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, library menu. There's no libraries for it. Okay. Oh, it has got wheels. It's just incredibly low to the ground. Oh, well. Okay, that's a bit trippy. Oh, my God. What the hell? That takes off like a rocket. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a fast plane. Oh, my God. That is like really, really quick, and it very, what's the word I'm looking for, whoa, that's trippy. That is so trippy I lost control. Damn. <laughs> that is a really unusual plane. That is the most maneuverable plane in the world. Uh, what do I want to teleport in? Whatever. Yeah, just crawl out from underneath the upside down plane. Mount Gordo Ghost. Oh. I haven't been through this trainer in a while. And they've updated it, so a lot of the new features I haven't seen. Bezra is an old plane, so is the blimp. RM10 Babushka. Oh, wow, that's big. That is a really, really big plane. Oh, it's got guns. Ooh, we're going to have some fun with this. Uh, how do you shoot? Unless you can't. Okay, I know what we're going to do. This is very slow. Oh, we can take off. Seriously? This is the top speed? Uh, it's like a B29. That is the slowest vehicle in the game. It's got to be. Yeah, it's a plane. We're descending and we're only going 59 miles an hour. 60. What the hell? Right. If we can get up to an altitude, let's see if we can... Uh, how would I do this? Vehicle option. Go first person. That is trippy. Uh, second page. Cycle through passenger seats. Oh. What? Uh, 
That was... This is trippy. Okay. Pull up for a start. Second thing. Right, so... Oh. In the co-pilot seat, we can't control the plane for some reason, but we can shoot very slowly. Mm, I don't like that plane. That's a terrible plane. Uh, it's probably useful for summing, but I don't like that plane. Get out. Uh, teleport to waypoint. <laughs> I took the plane with me. Oh, that was weird. Uh, right, what's next? What's the Sif Sisyphus Open Air Theatre? I gotta know. Okay. Oh, this... That's Vinewood. It's exactly the same. Or is it a different... No, it's exactly the same. Anyway, I've lost my waypoint now. <laughs> I've never... Well, I've been there, but I didn't... It's got two different names. Uh, what do I... <laughs> oh, I just looked down and saw a monkey reflection. Oh, that's brilliant. I love this trainer. There's so much you can do. Right, teleport to Waypoint. We can also go to North Yankton if you want to fly over North Yankton. I'm not sure why you would, but if you really want to. Right, what's next? The Buckingham Howard NX-25. This looks a bit like... It's a bit like a Spitfire, but it's got a different front. That's pretty much the only way to describe it. It also has extremely long landing gear, considering the size. <laughs> I'm just not doing anything. It's going up and then crashing into the ground. Right, we probably should pull up now, since the thing's at the end of the room. Again, very manoeuvrable as you go. Sh sugar. That was a great test. Right, so here's the same plane we had, fixed. Well, basically it's a new one. Oh, look at that, there's a jumbo jet over there. And I'm going to show you another little mod I got. And I've already added it to my list. But are you ready to see a stupidly fast plane? I'm going to crash into this one. So I'm on the lowest throttle setting now. If I accept... Oh, there's another one by there. Very, a lot of air traffic. Right, what we're going to do... Go first person. Going to line up with this one. And we're going to give it a bootful. Ready? Any second now. There it is. Supersonic transport. Ah, we missed it. Right, let's see how fast we can go. There goes the speed of sound. This is the same mod I used to get our Veyron up to, what was it, 901. The limit is 930, and you can change it, but honestly, I can't be bothered. I literally just installed all my mods again. But <laughs> we're going 913 miles an hour. I want to see how low I can go. This is dangerous! Oh my god! No, put oh my whoa! Nope, dead, dead, very dead, dead forever. I think we're gonna make the ocean at this point. <laughs> yeah, not what I planned. <laughs> Definitely not what I planned. Right, we need a waypoint. <laughs> oh, this game is funny. Like people always say, oh. Why you have a PC game when you can get a console? For a start, this is at 60 frames a second. Secondly, can you do this on a console realistically? I don't think so. And this is absolutely brilliant. Oh my god, this is the best. Right, teleport to win. <laughs> took the thing with me and the monkey gets out. Oh, I love this game so much. This is honestly one of, one of if not the best games ever created. Right, what was it? <laughs> I can't get over that. Uh, what's next on our list of planes? Uh, jet is just a normal plane. I've actually got a mod for that. I didn't even know this installed. Say hello to the... This is a 787. And this does actually have libraries. This isn't part of the Smuggler's Run DLC. There's another one over by there. But I just thought I'd show you this. There's also a 737, but I'm not quite sure under what it's I think it's a Shamal. So, pull up. Quite so be fair and vehicle options library menu so we got lot polish airlines let's put the gear up it should let me choose different ones now oh 
That is Aero Mexico, United, British Airways, uh, Air Canada, the stand, oh, ANA, that is, A-N-A, not sure how you say that, and Oman, oh, that's actually a pretty cool library, and American Airlines, and back to Lot. What's under Library 2? Absolutely nothing. But yeah, that's a 787, very low to the water. And here's the Chamel version. Oh, there's a Luxor just landing or taking off, one of them. This is the Boeing 737 Max, I believe. I'm not sure. It's a 737. I think it's the Max because it has really big engines. Again, well modelled. Probably has the same libraries, I would imagine. Uh, no, that's different. Southwest, Alaska, Boeing, Air Canada, American and United. So that's also a pretty cool plane. But uh, these planes are part of the World of Variety mod. It's actually the one of the easiest mods to install because you just need open for and it'll do it for you. Uh, but let's go back to the Smugglers DLC. So, I'm going to try something. Instead of going all the way back to the airport, which takes the mech, what I'm going to do, planes, and what did we get down to? We got down to the jet. So the next one after that would be the Mammoth Mogul. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn it here. Okay, that didn't work. That did. And we're going to try and keep it in the air. Yeah, it's working. This is a pretty cool plane. One thing I did notice, because I had a quick flick through. We need to fix this, it's broken. Uh, a lot of the planes are like World War II sort of stuff. Right, we fixed it. Gear. Uh, we don't need the gear. This has, this is the first one we come across which has an inbuilt weapon. It's very second World War. Most of the planes are quite 40s, 50s, that kind of era. Maybe even earlier. I'm not a plane expert. But this is pretty nice. I love the way the wheels stick out the bottom. Inside, it's... Oh. That is not a realistic dashboard. It would not have this dashboard if it was this old. Unless it's designed to look old and it's been refurbished or something. That is unrealistic. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, didn't mean to do that, but that's a pretty cool camera angle, actually. Uh, what I wanted to do was cycle through passenger seats, see what else we got. Ooh, big guns. Really big guns, and back to the driver's seat. <laughs> Every time I press the button to shoot, it changes seat. Try getting out of the menu there. So this is an attack slash carry people plane. We're going to hit the main thing. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Oh my god. Right, let's try our little trick again. This is going to end badly. Vehicle spawning planes. Next would be the V65 Molotov. Oh, that worked. I think this has been added to my supersonic planes thing already. And I'm not sure how to delete them. I know, if it hits 160 or so and it just suddenly accelerates, then it's part of that mod. But other than that, it's a pretty nice plane. It's a jet plane. Let's take the gear up. See what the, right, it's suddenly accelerated when I put the gear up. This also has an inbuilt gun. Got to. It's just got to. Oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. That was cool as hell. I don't care that we crashed our plane. That was cool. That was a very good shot. But we did ruin our plane. So let me just go get a new one. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to teleport to the waypoint, it'll give me the damaged plane. What happens if I press fix? Will it do it? Does it still recognise this as a vehicle? Yes, it does. We are in the floor though. And the engine's not working. Uh, again, mod to the rescue. Engine on. Nope. Uh, oh. No, that's not going to work. Damn. I thought that was a good idea. Oh well. Right. This is based off a MIG, I think. You can tell that by the intake at the front. That's a pretty cool design, actually. Not sure what those things on the wings are for. Probably aerodynamics. But yeah, this is like one of the first jet planes, it looks like. It's... Let me put the gear up. Relatively manoeuvrable. That was a mistake. Well, that was close. 
and stupidly fast over the city. Why not? I want a supersonic rollover through the city. Whee! <laughs> through the buildings. Why not? Let's go back. Probably the second time we're going to kill ourselves. Oh, yeah! Ooh, that was ridiculously close. Can we slow down in time to actually land this thing? Look at the air brake. That's pretty cool. Uh, no is the answer to that. Plane. Let's actually use this plane in combat. Ow! Oh, I hate that. In the so in the uh, we shut down the engine. We're going to stall. Right, where's that Shamal? There it is. We're actually going. Every time you use the rudder and change view, it takes you to the social clip. It drives me mad. Right, we're actually going to use this in combat. Let's get behind it. It's actually pulling away from us. That is a surprise. Thing is, I don't want to accelerate too much because we'll just go flying. Literally. So if I stop pressing the accelerator, it holds at speed. That is useful to know, but it's ridiculously hard to handle now. Uh, uh, come on. I really want to shoot this guy down. We're going to leave airspace in a minute and the wing's going to fall off or something. There's no missiles. Come on. It's ridiculously... Oh my god. It just will not handle at high speed. It, it was never designed to go this quick. Ah, oh, screw it. That was ridiculously... Uh, aerobatic is the word I'm going to use. Where the hell at? I think we're over Polito. Sonic Boom. Ah, oh, we're by Lago Zancudo. That was close. Jesus Christ. Wow! Yeah, I didn't think I was going to survive that one. <laughs> ah, that's how you kill yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Get a World War II MiG and fly it at supersonic speeds into a highway on ramp. Yeah, that was meant to happen. Ah, oh, stop killing yourself. Jeez. Come on, go before you explode. Ah, oh, you biatch. Oh well, that was worth it. Ah, J-turns aren't a good idea in airplanes. That is my top tip. Right, fixed. I'm just going to keep God mode on because... The hell? Okay, that took off at like 20 then. The wheels were lifting up. Eh, uh, got a gun. Pretty nice plane. I think this is more of a Spitfire than the other one. I think the other one was a Mustang. Based off a Mustang, maybe. This looks much more like a Spitfire. I don't know. I'm not a plane expert, as I said. But this is a pretty nice plane. It would be nice if it was in green. Let's shoot. There's nobody around. There's literally no one. That is extremely low flying. Whoa. Turn. Yeah. Pretty nice plane. Let's come in. Oh, go away. Let's actually come in for a landing. Gear day. I think there's a thing in the... Co no, that's new planes. Have an indicator in the cockpit to wherever the gear's day. That was not a good landing. But, I'm going to try another little trick. <laughs> this is going to end so badly. Pyro. Oh, it worked. It actually worked. Because otherwise the plane would just drop on top. But if it's moving... I'm a genius, I swear. This is a very, this is a modern plane, unlike the other ones. This looks more, uh, it's like a concept plane. Jet powered. Uh, what's the inside like? That's pretty modern. That's what I meant by the indicator, those green lights in front. So if I put the gear up, uh, down even, it says gear down, and gear up. It's a cool little feature. Right, so, 
the thing I like about this plane is that instead of having one uh, tail fin and two stabilizers, it has two ru two tail fins with rudders. Look, that's cool how they move in sync, and one stabilizer. That's pretty cool. And it also has a machine gun. Let's kill everyone at this hotel and pull up. Ooh, that is not as maneuverable as I thought it would be. That is definitely not very maneuverable. Probably because it has two rudders. I know. Could be anything. But it's just not very maneuverable. It doesn't respond very fast. Like you can see when I press the button. Because the controls move. But it takes a second for them to kick in. Not much. Can we change weapons? No. Right. What's next? The Western Rogue. Uh, that's like... Have you ever seen that picture of the plane which looks like a shark? That's what that reminds me of. A lot of these are like World War II planes. This doesn't have any weapons. Uh, okay. What is the point in this plane? It's a fighter plane with no weapons. That shadow was cool as hell. Let's land at Sandy Shores, change of scenery. I'm not a fan of this plate. I oh, know the colour's a bit off. I don't like the colour, it's too dark. And it doesn't have any weapons. It, it it has no obvious purpose. Inside is alright. That's a bit like the laser, that canopy. The interior's nice. Definitely the interior's nice. Oh, that's so cool. You can see the controls moving. Yeah, not not the best plane, I wouldn't say. <laughs> oh, I forgot I was a monkey. Oh, that's going to make me giggle all the time. Right, Western Sea Breeze. Another concept plane, it looks like. This is actually pretty cool. I can see why they don't, they're not in service. Like, passenger planes don't have one massive engine in the top. That's a pretty cool design. I like that. That is a pretty awesome plane. The rudder's a rudder. Not much to say about that. This video would be a lot better if I actually knew a lot about planes. That is pretty standard interior for a modern plane. Let's come in for an actual nice landing now. So, we're going 130. Let's slow it down to 100. Or not. Okay, 130 it is. Dear day. And we're going to come in for a landing at Grapeseed. Uh, whoa, that was close. I thought the road was the runway then. Right, come on. Good landing. We're going to do it. It's probably worth noting at this point that my flying skills aren't very high on you. Like, oh, it won't let me see them for some reason. But yeah, my flying skill isn't very good, so we get a lot of turbulence. I probably shouldn't have accelerated then. Overall, I like this plane. It's interesting. Let's use that term. <laughs> bye bye, sign. Yeah, it's, an, it's a good plane. I like that one. The, my least favourite one so far has got to be that really stupidly slow one. What's it called? The Bombushka. But Bombushka? Babushka? Not sure. Next is the LF-22 Starling. Uh, looks like another concept plane. Do you know what I haven't just tried to look at? Uh, wasn't moving then for a sec. Whether you can actually drop bombs. I date it, but you never know. Hang on a minute. Why has this only got two central wheels. How the heck is that stabilising? Uh, why aren't we going anywhere? It's got a prop on the front and a jet engine on the back. Oh, machine gun. This plane's broken. Oh, and we got some enemies over there, apparently. A guy in a tractor. Oh, no. Do you really want to screw with a monkey in a fighter plane? 
I'm getting shot at over there. Where's my Mark II rifle? I don't have one, apparently. You son of a biatch. Right, where are you? <laughs> oh. Not a very good shot, am I? Probably should use my mouse and keyboard. Yeah, he's dead. Right, where are you, tractor? Okay, something's broken. Hello, police officer. Yeah, something's broken. You can't see the gun in first person with a monkey. Never thought I'd ever say that. Right, let's see if this plane will actually work now. Unless this is a glider, perhaps it gets released from another plane. I didn't think about that. What the hell are you doing? Uh... This is a weird plane. It's not doing anything. Okay, I've got a solution. If it's a glider, uh, about there. Teleport to waypoint. That was weird. Okay, this is going to make it work, I hope. Don't hit the thing. Ah! I thought we were going to kill ourselves then. Okay. That was unexpected. This is a rocket plane. That is not what I expected. How did you put the gear up? Oh my god. So you use the horn button. And it suddenly propels it at 190 miles an hour. Okay, that is... I don't know whether that's cool or not. That's messed up. What the hell, game? Please tell me this is not a real plane. Oh, we've ran out of fuel. It must be a glider then. Like you release it from another plane or something. We're going to crash into the Alamo. That's cool. That little... Uh, what's it called? Like the target thing in the window. That is awesome. Oh, ah! Now we got fuel. I do not understand this plane at all. I just don't get it. And it's hard to control at high speed. Come on, I want to land. Why is it foggy as well? Uh, okay. Should we have like a snow themed one for the next plane? Yeah. Okay, that was a weird bounce. Uh, land. Okay, this is one of the weirdest planes ever. For a start, it only has... It has a propeller and a jet engine. It only has two gear, yet somehow it's staying upright. And it's quite a weird shape. It has a bomb bay. I think. I can't look underneath it when it's landed. I think that box thing on the bottom is a bomb bay. Not sure. I really can't make my mind up about that plane. That's certainly an odd, odd one, a monkey with a machine gun. A floating monkey with a machine gun. This is a very unusual video. Right, I don't want to teleport. I want... What do I want next? The Mammoth Tula. Uh, I've spotted a problem. This gun on the back, the moment you fire, you're going to shoot your own tail fin. That's not good. Yeah, it's fairly fast when you consider what it looks like. Actually, it's not. Pfft, scrap that. Gear up. Oh, that's cool. Hang on. I've seen these planes before in real life. I think this is a seaplane. This weather, I can't even see where I'm going. Weather, extra sunny. So much nicer. In fact, no, we're going to change that. We're going to go... Snow, and... Let's just leave it at snow. 
Right, let's find out if this is a seaplane. Hello, snow. Uh, like, I didn't like that actually. Uh, and I thought he was going to crash then. Right, are you a seaplane? The moment of truth. Don't hit that boat. Come on, settle down. It, it is. Either that or that was a very unusual bounce. This is a freaking seaplane. Oh, that's cool. And it has machine guns. Inside, not bad. What's the other seats like? Uh, vehicle options, not engine off. Co-pilot's pretty much the same. Oh, you can move the gun, that's alright. Otherwise you'd be shooting your own tail fin. Uh, apparently the tail fin doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, uh, come on plane, I want to shoot this boat. Keep rolling, keep going, keep going. Perhaps if I shoot near it, it'll panic. No, there's one in the distance up there. Can't zoom in, and it won't stop moving. Ah, ooh, come on. Gonna kill this boat. Don't think there's anyone on it, but it's going. Stop moving, plane. Oh, I did kill someone then. I saw the reticule change colour. Ah, I set a range again. Oh well. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's a weird seat. I really want to take off in this view, but I don't think we can fly. No, we can't. Ah, oh, damn, that would have been cool. Uh, what do I want to do? Eh, same thing on the different side. And back to the... Ooh. Ah, it's too... Ah. I, I was going to kill that guy. We're going to kill... Oh, I thought that was a plane. It's a freaking bird. Uh. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a weird plane. We're going to kill ourselves. Ooh, nearly made it. I don't know what... This is the coolest plane in the world. What the hell? I did not expect that. I genuinely didn't know about that feature. Gotta try this. Oh, uh, no. It changed the wing form. Whoa, that was a heavy impact. I don't know which seat I'm in. Wrong one. This one. This is the weirdest plane. I didn't. I genuinely didn't know this was a VTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing plane. Oh, can we put the gear down in the water? E no. Ah. Oh. Suppose it makes sense. Uh, how did I change the wing type? That right on the D-pad. Same as the Hydra. We're now going backwards. <laughs> oh, this is my favourite thing ever. And down. That was a quick stop. This is amazing. Right. We're going to get this boat now. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this thing. It, well, it would help if I could actually shoot. He's panicking. Stop. No, up. Ah, I'm still getting used to these controls. He just hit rocks. He's hit rock bottom. Too high. Oh, I love this thing so much. I'm not a good pilot or shooter. That has been established, I think. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh my god. And then we can just take off like a normal plane. That's sick. That really is cool. I want one of these in real life now. I really do. This is the Mammoth Tula. And I think it's now my favourite plane in the game. Right, what's next? Oh, keep pressing the wrong thing. 
Oh, my favorite. Well, my old favorite. Uh, no, we're going to do this in... Uh, this may or may not work. I think that's the right building. Uh, no, we're not going to teleport there in this. I'm going to teleport there as a person. Or not. Really? How the heck am I going to get that off there? Can we go back in it? No. Uh, hmm. This is the place I wanted to be, kind of. Actually, no, I want to be on top of the Maze Bank Arena, which is there. Uh, no, I want to be on the top. Maybe a bit further back. And of course, it won't set a waypoint because I'm stood next to it. Thanks, game. And of course, I don't know which building it is now. I think it's this one. So, about there. Uh, no, teleport there. Where the hell am I? Where am I? This is one of the very few parts of the map I've never been. I have no idea where we are. I think we're under the Maze Bank Arena. Which is a bitch, because I want to get on top of the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, I know where we are. I've just never been in there. Uh, hang on. That's not normally open. There's normally a gate there. <laughs> Monkey. There's normally a gate there. That's why I've never been there. Right, it's not going to let me on top of the Maze Bank Arena, which sucks, because I really wanted to go up there. So we're going to have to settle for the FIB building, I think. Will it let us get on top of there? No. Uh, uh, okay... What the hell just happened? This is a weird game. Right, I'm just going to go back to what I know. The airport. No, we're going to take off on the motorway, actually. In my one of my favourite planes. Uh, let's go this motorway. No, we don't want to go oncoming traffic. So, we're going to go there. Uh, that was weird. And we're going to turn off traffic by cars, by pets. And we're going to spawn one of my favourite aircraft, the Nagasaki Ultralight. This thing's cool. This is also... Oh, we're not a monkey anymore. We're just Franklin. Who, I suppose you could say he's a monkey. He's a bit of... Not a monkey, but... Mm, uh, he's just weird. He's a gangster. That's going to hit the bridge. Let's go flying around the city in my ultralight. This is cool. And we are now one of those a-holes you see flying around town showing off to everyone in their ultralight. What they need now is one of the ones where it's like a parachute with a fan on the back. Like a proper ultralight. Let's hit the build and see what happens. Not a good idea. Uh... Physics much? Okay, that was weird. We're going to fly under the bridge. The, I, I don't know why I like this so much. I just do. They need a, a, a fan on the back guy now. No, wrong angle. We're dead. Or perhaps not. Yeah, I, I, I like this thing. I want one of these things. I want pretty much everything in this game, to be fair. I want an assault rifle. No reason, I just do. Pray on my wall. Eh, not particularly good handling, and I don't think this thing will manage a loop to loop pretty well. Let's try. No, it gets to a point, then it levels itself. Ah well, still a good plane. Now there's one last thing I wanted to try before I end the video. In fact, there's two things I want to try before I end the video, but they're going to take a bit of setup, so. I'm going to fly under this bridge first. I just want to fly under the bridge. I don't, I'm not sure if I've got the achievement yet. I think I have. Not 
sure. We're going to find out in a minute. This is a big bridge, by the way. <laughs> and there's two of them. That must have cost a lot to build. Yeah, we got the achievement for that one. Oh, no, we didn't. We've flown under six bridges. I have completed it on the Xbox 360 version. I haven't done most things on this version, to be fair. Now we've got mods, I just play with them all day instead of the storyline. But anyway, let's go set up what I want to set up, and I'll bring you back then. Oh my god, we're going to crash into the helicopter blades. That is what we're going to do. Really? That was the most anticlimactic thing ever. And secondly, why the hell is there a sky lift at the airport? You can't get those outside the missions, or at least you're not supposed to. I may have broken something in my game. A lot of weird stuff is happening today. Jump into the rotor. Didn't kill me. Probably wouldn't if I have Godmode on. Anyway, back to my special little thing. Okay, guys, so... I'm a humpback whale. Just thought I'd start with that. <laughs> because why not? But sadly, the thing I was going to do was skydive as a cow, but sadly that didn't work. It didn't work with a deer or any other animal, pretty much, other than a chimp, and that wasn't as funny as I thought it'd be, so... Sadly that's not gonna work, but... Then I thought, ooh, what if we turned into a humpback whale and stole somebody's car? And that didn't work. Humpback whale on land is a no-no. It just crashed my game. I've, I've crashed my game so many times now that it's not even funny. Like, I've got about 50 corrupted files on my hard drive I need to go through and delete because I can't watch them or edit them or anything uh, so I came up with an alternative what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go model spawning with model spawning where is good old trusty chimp which apparently can swim <laughs> whatever and we are going to Put a waypoint up all the way up here in La Mount Chiliad. And we're going to teleport there. Because I wanted to go out on something really unusual. And this is pretty unusual. So what we're going to do, we're going to spawn a motorcycle. But not any motorcycle. We're going to spawn the Pegasi Oppressor. Some of you may recognise this bike as the machine gun wheeled in, rocket powered flying jet bike. That's the proper term. And machine gun. Perfect. Not sure if. Oh, we can go first person on this bike. That's actually a pretty cool first person. Anyway, we're going to fly off Mount Chiliad as a chip. Wings out. And go. I never get old. And pass this little freak, and let's get some actual good screenshots. Oh, what kind of thing can we Yeah. That is cool. And backflip. Didn't work. And you stalled. Ha ha ha. monkey on a jet bike. And I'm not going to make this hill. Ooh, that was close. We've had a lot of close calls in this video. 30. Let's see if we can come in for a good landing, a proper landing. Yeah, right. I reckon we can do it. Not on top of the gas station, preferably. Are you serious? How did that kill me? The four would have killed me in real life, but I don't think that would have. Like that's that's one thing I don't like about the animals in this game. They're so easy to kill. I tried to teleport a dolphin from one part of the ocean to another and it just broke the game. Ignore the saying in the background, that's a train. But it's so annoying how easily they die. Uh, I want this car actually. But yeah, I think this has been a pretty unusual video. Besides the death hitting a lamppost, monk on a jet bike this is a pretty cool video, and we got to see all of the Smuggler's DLC, including the road vehicles and the planes. There's no weapons in this DLC, sadly. But it's been a pretty interesting video. We smashed our truck up good and proper then. First person. Oh, first person, let's hit the ball out. Yeah, we knocked it down. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to end the video. We had a lot of fun. And if you'd like to see more GTA videos, make sure you give this video a like to tell me that. 
and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.